First step to picking up a weapon is to recognize that there is a weapon, and that's the only thing that we're going to do in this video. Let me get rid of the AI for now. And I'm going to go into the Unity Asset Store, look for an axe. I want it to be a free axe. Make sure that you're signed in. And open in Unity. Import everything. I'm going to look for the prefab. Here it is. Bring it into the map. I should change the material. Okay, here's the texture. And I want to change this to simple lit LWRP. Drag in the texture, make it white. I want to unpack it completely. I want the pivot to be on the handle. So let me create an empty object, bring it down to the handle, and then bring it outside and make that the parent. So that's the handle now, or that's the pivot. I'm going to rename it Melee X. And we don't need this empty game object. We just need the X itself. So get rid of the unnecessary part. And this would be the X render. I'm going to drag this into my weapons folder, RB weapons, drag it in there to turn it into a prefab. I'm going to add a collider to the axe, add a box collider, a trigger, and I want to make sure that the trigger fits the axe. So adjust the numbers for the collider. Okay, that seems about right. I also want to put it on the floor. Something like this. Just make sure that the collider is not completely under the ground. And I'm going to apply everything. I'm also going to create a weapon script called weapon. Go in there. Start with the namespace because weapon is a commonly used name. Namespace round bear games called weapon. And I'm going to add the script to the prefab. Add the weapon again. If I play, see that the character is stuck here. We don't want to do that. I'm going to go into the weapon and create a public static method is weapon. Taking the OBJ. We want to find out if an OBJ is a weapon or not. So get the transform, the root, and then get the component. If that is not null, it is a weapon. Otherwise, it's not. 
control T, go into the animation progress to the part where we're checking for the blocking OBJs and add a condition cannot be a weapon. And now if I go back and play, okay, walking is fine now. Now I want to find out if the player is colliding with this weapon or not. I'm going to go back to the code. So we're in animation progress. And I'm going to create another dictionary. Same thing as what we have in the colliding body parts. A dictionary of the trigger detector as the key. And we're going to have the weapon, the weapons collider as the value. Colliding weapons. I'm going to go into the trigger detector because that's where we're checking for the colliding body parts. Trigger detector on trigger enter. So these are the code that is looking for the colliding body parts. I want to turn this into a single method. Check colliding body parts. Take in the collider. And I can copy paste this whole thing in there. Cut it and put it into the function. Check colliding body parts. And it's the same thing. And I'm also going to go down to the exit. Here it is. Check exiting body parts. Again, take in the collider. And I want to bring this whole thing into the function. Rename it. Collider. Collider. Check exiting body parts. Before I go on, let me go back and just make sure that the colliders are working fine. I'm going to bring the AI back in and make sure that it still works. Okay. Put it back out. And for the colliding weapons, I want to do something similar. Check colliding weapons. First, you want to make sure that it is a weapon. The weapon script is null, it's not a weapon. Let's get the root. If it is a weapon, we do something similar that we're doing with the body parts, except we're using the colliding weapons dictionary. Okay, it's the same thing now except we're checking for weapons. And the same thing with the exit. Check exiting weapons. And it's exactly the same, except we're using a different dictionary. Okay. And make sure that the function's in there. Save all the code, and I'm going to go back to Unity and play. Once the character is touching the weapon, this weapon should be in the dictionary of our animation progress. But unfortunately, dictionaries cannot be serialized. So we don't see the dictionary in the inspector. 
for this, you would just have to do your debugging. Let me play again. And I'm going to be above the weapon. The feet are touching it. I'm going to go back to the code, the animation progress, and where we're updating the dictionary. Here it is. F9 attached to Unity. And here, if we look at the dictionary, we see that the foot, both of the foot and the shin, are touching the weapon. Okay, the melee X. Let me also walk away from the weapon and check again. Attach to Unity. And the dictionary is empty. Another way to check is that there is a paid asset. You don't have to do this, but let me just show you. I'm going to get the Odin Inspector. Import everything. Import. Once you're done importing, I'm going to go back to the animation progress. Use the Odin Inspector and turn the animation progress into a serialized mono behavior. Then I'm going to go back to Unity. And play again. So here I am touching the weapon. And here are the colliding parts. I'm not sure why the thigh is there. Hmm. Okay, but it looks like it's working fine. Once you're outside, the dictionaries are empty. Let me go back and put this back to a normal mono behavior. I'm also going to delete the Odin Inspector because it's a paid asset. I cannot put it in the repository. Okay, and let me play again just to make sure that everything's working. Okay. All right, things should be exactly the same. Now that we know whether we're touching the weapon or not, in the next video, we're actually going to pick it up. So that's it for this one. Thanks for watching.